Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be teaching you how to um, um, mess around with T-Edit, but this time we're going to have an, a more advanced tutorial, and T-Edit had a few more updates over the last few um, months. So what you may notice right away, that is if you open T-Edit, uh, let's wait a second here for it to open up. Alright, so now it just booted up, um, and if you saw that correctly, um, you are using an outdated version of T-Edit. Do you want to download the update? So what you do is just click click the X, and and as you can see, I'm still on beta 29. There is now beta um, like 31 or something like that. So right here, this is just an outdated version of um, Down into the Dungeon. If you want to download that, uh, link in description. But the new updates have fixed all the bugs and stuff. Um, new update on that soon. So what you got to do is um, you got to go to your local computer browser. Mine is Google, and you can search up T Edit for 1.4. I'm going to leave the link down in the description, and you're going to want to click this one. Don't click on any third-party websites. They can um, scam your computer. Um, I, several YouTubers have had that accident before, so you're going to want to click the newest one. Um, and you're going to want to click tedit beta 31.zip and right here it just installed you don't need WinRAR or anything like that to get it so after it's done installing mine only took a few seconds what you just got to do is close your browser and you got to go to wherever your downloads are stored in my case this is just downloads uh, you can drag it out right here so you're going to want to go to this PC um, program files x86 steam uh, steam apps common and then you're going to this might look a bit messy you could just if you have tons of games you could just search up terraria but in this case I do not have a ton of games so um, what you got to do is you go to your terraria folder and as you can see you I ha already have T-Edit, so this is just the case of which we're going to update it. This also works if you are going to um, get it for the first time. So now what you're going to do is you right click it and go to extract files. And right here you're going to delete this um, this thing right here, Terraria. Um, now it should just say Terraria and press OK. and um, it should just be one quick click for most users. I have WinRAR, so I just got to click over and over and over and over. Or I could just do yes to all. And that should have updated it. It's as easy as that. It doesn't look like there's any changes or anything, but there actually are. If We, we could tell if we um, open up T-Edit in the first place, but... Let's not do that quite yet. I want to teach you guys a really cool trick that I learned over the past few weeks. You just click create shortcut and you could drag it out on your desktop like right there for example anywhere on your desktop and you could click it and it will quickly open to edit if you make a copy. Don't just drag it out. It'll If you drag it out you will um, not be able to use it as it can't find its parent tools that it requires. Right here, we're going to open up uh, my, uh, this is my friend's world, uh, we're going to open up uh, Hovel of Spaghetti yet again. This is our favorite world to use, really. Um, so before you use it, you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to go to your worlds folder. This is very, very important. You must, must, must um, back up your worlds just in case. They, you get file corruption because that can happen so I have a lot of junk backups from um, creating down into the dungeon I need to throw those away but um, there you go now that it's done copying you should be good so um, right here we I've already covered this in my previous video you you should watch that if um, you need help on that so um, there is a now a new tool in T-Edit, and also there is a new zoom level. See, look, back in the old update, you could still see the the textures from zooming in so far out, but you can't do that that anymore. So uh, if we 
This is a brand new tool right here called the hammer. And what it does is it hammers surfaces like so see look. It's all sloped now. <coughs> which is very useful for adventure mapping. So for example, if I were to um put in some dirt blocks right here, we're gonna make a nice shape right here. Uh and we're going to put this in. Now we zoom back in. Look how hammered and beautiful that looks. <coughs> Doesn't that look so nice? So, um, yeah, also, if you use the paint bucket tool or the this little square tool, I keep forgetting what it's called, and you go to fill, you can fill it within that square. I don't know if I covered that in my last tutorial, but I do not think so. And this also works with the eraser, so. And also, you cannot do it really, you can't do the fill outside of the boundaries, which is really, really nice, so if you don't want to accidentally fill up your entire world like I've done like I've done before yeah I've done that before it's pretty embarrassing and uh, that's the tool to use so they've made some changes to the brush tool and what you could do with this is if you're too lazy to just build like a col column from your for your Yaron arena for um, calamity or something what you could just do is go to your uh, li lizard bricks um, I'm gonna just click quick select them down here. It doesn't even have to be lizard bricks. Um, and you, all you have to do is just go to your brush tool and you could adjust the sizes right here so you could just have a giant square or you can have a micro square you get to choose. But I think 16 is good for a Yaron arena but the thing is though um, I forgot to turn off my eraser so you got to make sure you leave that um, on. So, I mean, it's not very good for Yaron Arena, but um, this is not a modded world, and I do not need a Yaron Arena in a non-modded world. But, um, yeah, this will... Uh, this is just for show. You could just do this for fun, or you could build, like, a nice, uh, for, say, temple out of it, like, for example, like this. Okay, it doesn't look great, but... Just for the sake of examplenes, we're we're going to be using that. So, um, if you don't like any changes that you made, you could just spam the undo button like a lunatic. Um, now, a really cool thing is, um, you could go to um, sprites up here, and you get to choose any item you want. We've already covered that. So, clipboard. You can also um, put in your own image. Your own image so you could for example download a 24-bit image off of the internet and um, and put in like link or something from the Legend of Zelda we'll have that playlist down in the description so you could just um, uh, we don't have any schematics but um, you could just do that if you want so, for example um, if you wanted to use it for something useful you could use it for like a circle like for example let's say you have something in your world oops uh, you probably don't want that do you so if you have something in your world uh, that that's not a perfect circle for example this this looks like it could be a baby head because it's not perfectly round um, and um, you could just put paste in a 24-bit um, image circle which you could do if you go into your local browser and to just teach you how to use the, the, the fill tool. I never covered that um, in my last playthrough because, I mean my last video because it's a little more advanced and it's really hard to do so let's just place down this lovely uh, chest thingamajig uh, and if we click on it, the air tool right here you will learn how to use all these tools in my previous t-edit video so if we um, click it, it, it's going to say empty to all of them, edit selected item. So you could change your weapon modifier here if you want a weapon. So you can have something that's not possible in normal Terraria. For example, you can have a warding solar drill. We could, for example, put in uh, uh, an type pickaxe that is awkward or a bulky amber gem spark wall 
So uh, this is not possible in normal Terraria, but this is something really cool that you can do. It saves so much time in adventure maps, uh, and it could, and it's really, uh, really, really useful. If you want to turn things, um, you can also mess with the special entrance points if you want. But if you, for example, um, let's say you have a Crimson Desert. Oh no, I want to get rid of that. Like. You have this ugly spot in your world that just turned all crimson or corruption and you want to purify it you can just go to purify uh it'd probably be easier if you expanded it boom gone see like corruption won't be a problem anymore if you have uh this thing so um yeah if you want to copy something for example if i wanted this really ugly window or better yet this okay looking base to um, be copied what you do is okay it's a little complicated if you're new so you just um, make a square or the shape around your thing now go and hit copy and then you're gonna hit paste and you have a really crude looking um, version of your thing but that's alright uh, and we can copy paste copy paste see uh, as you can see now we have like quadruple the houses that we used to or double in this case and um, what you can also do is if you uh, be prepared for this you can also fill up your entire world with I'm gonna do it for you guys real quick okay my computer re reacted really quick to that that's really good so now you have your whole entire world filled with lizard bricks I do not recommend this for anyone but it's still something fun that you can mess around with. And you can tell if something goes surface or not by telling by just looking at it, which it could be potentially useful for finding caves if that's your thing. And look, we even filled, um, we might have even, no, we did not fill hell with them. That's pretty cool though. And if you don't like it, you could just smash undo and in a couple seconds it will undo it. Alright, so I think that's going to do for today. If you enjoyed this video, please um, give it a like and subscribe um, to the channel. It really helps out a lot. I've been getting a lot of subscribers who have been unsubscribing. So, um, yeah, please stick with me, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Adieu.